You hear us talk about criminals using pill presses all the time. Part of that is because it's so frequent. Just this year alone, pill presses have been found in the hands of criminals in 12 different states. And the interesting thing is that in most cases, when the prosecution is over, they will not be prosecuted for using those illegal tools. Why? We wondered the same question. And we looked at it in 2019 and we wrote this pill press report and we found that what happened is that prosecutors told us they don't like to charge the pill press charge. They often find the guys with the pill presses also possess controlled substance. Well, that's an easy prosecution. It's not hard to explain possessing a whole bag of fentanyl to the jury. And if you, pro if you actually prosecute for both the pill press charge and the controlled substance charge, the judge sometimes you're, thinks you're overcharging and thinks you're being too harsh on the defendant. But that leaves a problem. Criminals are still actually committing a crime and not getting prosecuted for it. We've seen a better approach in the CAST Act, a piece of bipartisan legislation for Representative Kustoff and Representative Spanberger. In it, what they say is that instead of creating a new crime or raising the penalties for a crime for a pill press, you should actually raise the penalty for controlled substance distribution if you committed it while using a pill press. Sort of like you get a couple extra years if you rob a bank with a gun instead of a banana or a club. This is actually a really good idea. We hope to see it pick up more sponsors in Congress this year. You can learn more about it at congress.gov or at our website at safemedicines.org.